Okay, so now we'll begin to look at equivalence relations, which will be our launch pad into both homeomorphisms and quotient spaces. So new definition, a relation R is an equivalence relation on a set S, if and only if. It is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. And an equivalence relation is usually denoted using the symbol for similarity, which looks like this. So let the relation be an equivalence relation on a set S. The equivalence class of the relation containing the element S is the set which we denote this way and this is the set of all those elements in the set S such that X is related to S and the elements in this equivalence class are said to be equivalent and any element in the equivalence class is said to be a representative of the class. So let's look at an example. So let S be the set of all polynomials in the variable X with real coefficients. Define a relation as follows. F is related to G if and only if the derivative of F is equal to the derivative of G. Then the relation is an equivalence relation So proof. Let F, G, and H be polynomials in the set S. Since F prime is equal to F prime, we have that 
f is related to itself, and hence the relation is reflexive. Now suppose that f is related to g, then f prime is equal to g prime, and so g prime is equal to f prime, and hence g is related to f, and thus the relation is symmetric. So now suppose that f is related to g and g is related to h, then f prime is equal to g prime and g prime is equal to h prime, and so f prime is equal to h prime, and hence f is related to h and thus the relation is transitive. And therefore the relation is an equivalence relation. On the set S. Now if F prime is equal to G prime, then g is equal to f plus c, where c is a real constant. And so the equivalence class containing f is the set of all the polynomials in the set s such that g is equal to the polynomial f plus c, where once again c is a real constant. In other words, the equivalence class containing the polynomial f is the set of all pol polynomials that differ from f only by a constant. So new definition. Let x and y be topological spaces. a homeomorphism is a bijective function which we will call phi mapping x into y for which both the function phi and its inverse are continuous. And if a homeomorphism mapping x into y exists, then the spaces x and y are said to be homeomorphic and it's denoted Oops, denoted this way. Now a homeomorphism is also called a 
a topological isomorphism So next, we will show that homeomorphisms are equivalence relations on the set of all topological spaces. So proof, let x, y, and z be topological spaces. Since the function phi mapping x into itself defined by phi of x equals x, that is the identity function, is bijective. And continuous and the inverse exists and itself is continuous. There exists a homeomorphism mapping the space X into itself and so the Space is homeomorphic to itself, and hence a homeomorphism is reflexive. Now suppose that the space X is homeomorphic to the space Y, then there exists a bijective function which we'll call phi mapping X into Y for which the function phi and its inverse mapping y into x are continuous and so the inverse function mapping y into x is a bijective function for which The function and its inverse are continuous. And hence the space Y is homeomorphic to the space X. And thus a homeomorphism. is symmetric so now suppose 
that the space X is homeomorphic to Y, and Y is homeomorphic to Z. Then, as X is homeomorphic to Y, there exists a bijective function. which we'll call f, mapping x into y, for which function f and its inverse, mapping y into x, are continuous. And as y is homeomorphic to z, there exist, exists a bijective function which we'll call g, mapping y into z, for which the function g and its inverse, mapping z into y, are continuous. And so the composition g of f mapping x into z is a bijection now as g and f are continuous the composition g of f is continuous and as G inverse and F inverse are continuous. The inverse of G of F, which is F inverse of G inverse, is continuous. And hence the function G of F mapping X into z is a bijective function for which the function and its inverse are continuous and so x is homeomorphic to z and thus a homeomorphism is transitive So as an exercise, let x together with a topology tau sub x and y together with a topology tau sub y be topological spaces such that x is homeomorphic to y. show that the cardinality of x is the same as the cardinality of y, and show that the number of open sets in the topology on x is the same as the number of open sets on the topology on y. Okay, so we'll end here for today. Next time we will continue to look at equivalence relations and homeomorphisms. So I hope you have enjoyed the 20th lecture Thanks for watching.